Good evening, and welcome to Topic Change. Or perhaps I should say, Spooky Strange. As always, I am your terrifying host, Crimson Red. And with me tonight is my equally haunting co-host, Nightmare Nicole. Okay. (laughs) Okay, so, hi. Welcome back to this topic change. It's Halloween time. October is here. It's not Halloween yet. Uh, I'm very, well, I mean, September 1st. Is when October really starts. Yeah. It's like the preliminary round. So, for all intents and purposes, we've already passed Halloween. That was like Halloween 1. You know what I'm saying? And now this yeah. is Halloween like 2. two. two. Like, this is the bonus. You know this what I'm is saying? The, the month where you get to dress up. So, yeah. I'm very excited. It's been a while since we had a chance to record. Things have been very busy lately. Very busy. Crazy busy. Like, real life exists again. Yeah. For the most part. I mean, we're still in the middle of a quarantine, sort of. Yeah. People are still wearing masks. You know, they're doing the usual thing. But yeah, so we just haven't had a chance to really focus on any projects that we've been doing for like the YouTube scene or Twitter or anything like that. So it's kind of fun to just kind of have a moment to sit down and just kind of talk about the last couple months. Just kind of do like a quick Woody's Roundup yes. style uh, episode, which I feel like we do pretty often considering how few we times we've actually been able to record yeah it's like what episode 13 mm-hmm. i've actually we've been bro, so 13 <gasps> in october oh bro my God. this is the most haunted episode ever if you listen to this be careful you might hear a record scratch you might hear a ghostly wail you might hear a black cat pass you might hear him pass what does he say like he just walks by you hear his like blinker go like, tuk, 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 and he passes <laughs> and you on the, no on the he hears like little paw steps Oh, okay. So why don't we just get right into our first topic. Maybe like a meow sound. The most terrifying uh, news ever. Among Us has become popular. Yeah, so this was a game that I think is on everybody's minds right now. So talking about it is basically pointless, but we'll talk about it for a few minutes. Uh, It's a little game where you're a spaceman on a spaceship or uh, on a snow base or on an airship depending on which of the three maps you play on. And you're trying to survive by finishing all the tasks to repair whatever vessel you might be on. Uh, but the goal of the killer, who is an imposter among you, that's the, hence the name, is to kill you. And then as long as there is f- fewer or equal amount of crewmates as there is imposters, the imposters win. And it well, it came out like two years ago, and nobody really talked about it up until this month, basically. And it just blew up for no real reason. But also at the same time, I feel like it definitely earned. Definitely. I don't know if it I don't know if it earned anything really. It just got lucky, as most games do when they're not. I mean, I think AAA. it's a good game and I'm I'm happy for the developers. It's one of the it's like a mafia style game or like Town of Salem or like Trouble in Terrorist Town. One of those like one guy is the killer, but it's hidden. And uh it reminds me of when I was a kid. And I used to go on like uh, forums, and they would have they had this uh, one forum I used to go on. They had this like Death Note, <laughs> Death Note style like mafia game, and it was very badly moderate because it was like everyone was just like you post, and then, like four hours later, some other guy would post mm-hmm. what he was doing for the same event, and it would just take forever, and everybody was always yelling at each other and that, but it, for some reason, all these games. Remind you of that. Remind me of that. Even though I didn't enjoy it, I enjoyed, like, man, like, this is so cool. Like, I wonder who thought of this, like, game in the first place. Yeah. But, yeah, so those kind of games are always fun, but this is the first one that I've played that I feel like knows how to do it right, if that makes sense. Like, Town of Salem, if you randomly are innocent and you randomly die the first night, that, okay, I don't get to do anything anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm done playing now. I can go. I can turn off my computer now. There's nothing left for me to do. Uh-huh. Versus, okay, if you die in Among Us, you still have tasks to complete. Or if you're the other imposter, if there's multiple imposters and you get voted off, you can still help your your fellow killer by sab- closing doors and locking them or like turning off the lights or whatever. And it gives, it gives you something to do. It gives you agency 
in a way that I feel like not enough of these games do. Because, mm-hmm. like, think about, like, okay, you play Mafia, you play Town of Salem, it's just, it's over. You lose the moment you die. Yeah. Versus you still have a stake in the game. You, like, you can actively make your team lose in Among Us by being a ghost and not doing your tasks. Mm-hmm. You can lose the game because, oh, we were close enough to a task victory. We almost repaired the ship. But because the ghosts didn't fuel the <laughs> the engines, we lose. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it gives you a little bit of... And I'm surprised that that's not actually a problem in itself where people will like, oh, well, I died early game, so I'm just not going to repair anything to spite my teammates. That never has happened to me. But yeah, I don't know how it... Uh, I know that I... I don't want to sound like a hipster, but what I definitely. I was not. Like, to be honest, we are a little bit. But we're not like trendsetters. We didn't trendset, but like, but like we we were, we were ahead like of the game. wave one. Yeah. Because there was a streamer that I watch. He's his name is Kaif. Mm-hmm. Bro, shout out to Kaif, dude. Like. If you want to be on. Word up! Podcast. Seriously, you want to be in the podcast, bro? We'll add him. We'll add him on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. He was one of the first guys that really, like, it went from like four players of Among Us to like. 4,000, you know what I'm saying, like yeah. when he started streaming it. Uh, and then after that, a couple other streamers took off, and it was just like a, you know, Chain bonanza. Action. It, it yeah. knocked over Fall Guys, which we didn't even get to make an episode about Fall Guys before it died out, or yeah. it died out, quotation mark. I still think it's very rude and disrespectful to say that, to say that game died. I think it's still very just popular. Because, just because uh, there's like a certain uh Mr. Beast of- and PewDiePie aren't streaming it every single second of the day doesn't mean it's dead there's a certain group group of people who have not played it in a while and to them it's like oh yeah the game died out but like it literally hasn't yeah it's just the 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 hype the hype train as you want to call Passed. it like it's not league of legends tier anymore it's just a normal game now. oh god god i hate league of legends but that's a topic for never ever um, we still so, haven't watched the Jimmy... Sorry, this is a... This is... <laughs> a okay, yeah, yeah. This is, no, 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 no. I don't mind. But, yeah, we, we, we should... We haven't watched the Jimmy Neutron That movie yet. is terrifying, so we should watch it for Halloween, and I'll, we'll just post that, because... Oh, perfect. I think we should do a, um, like a stream of us watching it, and then maybe upload it to YouTube afterwards. That could be fun. Like a, like an archive, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. So, if anyone ever wants to watch us watch Jimmy Neutron... That would be so good and fun. Yeah. Is that copyright, though? Like, do yes. You have to cut out we would have bits? to find somewhere other than YouTube or Twitch to stream it, because everywhere that's normal will kick us off. We we could, like, stream bits and pieces of the movie. We'll figure it out record, as we just go. Like, we could just record bits and pieces of us watching it and be like, whoa. Yeah. Funny reaction. Yeah, I think, well, well, well my original plan was to just watch, we watch it with the, the microphone rolling. That's a good idea. And just whatever we comment on something, Play the clip. I could toss the clip in. Yeah. That's versus, probably better than... Versus just playing the whole movie and being eradicated from this earth by YouTube's Thanos. In all honesty, we'd probably be watching it silently for the entirety of it. No, I mean, when we watch when we watch movies together, we usually riff. That's true. If I'm watching a movie solo, I'm not going to be like, huh, looks like that guy fell down. But like when we're watching it together... We usually have something fun that's funny to like bounce off each other. At least mm-hmm. in my mind. If you think it's funny too, you're probably one of the 74 subscribers. That's something else I want to talk about. We, did we passed 70 subscribers. subscribers. I'm very happy We're going to about look that. back at this like seven years from now. And be like, be like wow, 70 subscribers, 70 that's it. Like Losers. Um, yeah. When we, when we become a corporate entity and we have merch and Can't uh, wait for that. hashtag. And when Markiplier is our biggest fan. When Markiplier is our friend. Yeah. He just, like, makes videos of us all the time. That'll be pretty dope. It will be pretty dope. So that's the thing. Another thing, though, is, like, transitioning from, like, oh, well, I'll post, like, a video mm-hmm. this four months, and then I'll post another one video. Transitioning from that to, like, okay, well, I'll post a video all the time because I have 10,000 subscribers, 20,000 subscribers. We have, like, a reason to. It's very different. And this fact that I'm struggling to get this one video out, there was an evil one that I... I think once we have a real, once we have a re, once not we have to a downgrade dro- our following. Oh but yeah, once I don't want to like say a bigger. I guess not real, but bigger. Once we have a, a bigger, bigger following, following, we will, I think, have more, 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 uh, more drive. I guess because I guess yeah. in in one way it's like, what if I make this video inspiration, and nobody cares? 
Like, what if that one video I made was like a flash in the pan? What if none of these 70 subscribers actually Yeah, care? what if the next podcast, what if we upload this podcast and, and it gets one view it. from me uploading it and checking to see if the quality is okay? That'll make me sad. But I don't think so. I think we're good enough. That's something that we need to, we really got to work on. At least me. Mm-hmm. Is that self-worth. You know, this is going to become an advice podcast for the next five minutes. <laughs> Having self-worth is very important. Having that that drive, that esteem in yourself to be like, I am good enough. It's it's important. I can make this and it'll be good because I know it's good. I have the quality level needed. And it's not arrogance. It's not, you know, pretentiousness. It's, it's just normal. Mm-hmm. You know, having pride in one's work is not a bad thing. And that's something that I've always struggled with. And I don't know really why. So I hope anyone else listening to this, if you are a listener who has that problem, we got you, man. We're good. If anyone was wondering, I did in fact leave during that speech. I noticed. Let's move on to, let's go back to a lighter topic. Okay. Uh, let's change the topic, if you will. <laughs> so we talked about Among Us for a moment. We talked about Fall Guys for a quarter of a second. Those were the two, those were the two biggest things on my mind. Mm-hmm. going into this i had a couple other things in my head oh i what? almost forgot about the most haunting news what minecraft steve has and been added to smash, smash brothers. brothers this was something that we were kind of worried about you know it was something like an omen almost uh an evil creature from the depths kind of wriggling its way forth from the 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 darkest reaches of the internet Minecraft being in Smash Brothers is very weird to me. And it, a lot of people are like, well, of course it makes sense, right? Because, first of all... People have been asking for it. People have been asking for it. I don't know why. Cause Second of all, it's... Uh, watch how he's going to be, like, the best character. I'm, I'm for one, excited to play as Enderman. Yeah. Um, well, that's the thing, right? They showed gameplay of him. He actually has a pretty involved moveset. Like, he has a lot of thought put into him. What I thought was going to happen was they were going to make him... Oh, well, in Minecraft, you have a sword and you have a bow. So they were just going to make him like any other anime swordsman. Mm-hmm. Like, he's just Marth, but he has a his neutral B is a bow. <laughs> and that's it. Like, that's uh, as far as it goes. Oh, and his down B, you put a block down under you. Like, that's it. Mm-hmm. That's the whole gimmick. But no, they gave him like a mining mechanic... Uh, they gave him, like, an up- upgrade system, so if you mine enough, you, like, upgrade your sword, and you upgrade your pick, so you mine faster. There's a block placing mechanic, so you can make houses and stuff on the field. Um, he can stop you from grabbing the ledge by putting a dirt block down, and you just can't get up no more. It's a lot of crazy stuff, and I think he'll actually be a pretty involved, pretty powerful character. I wouldn't say, like, the best character, but he could probably be Goku. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm excited to play. Honestly. I'm not excited to play. I'm terrified. And uh, Okay, bye. I mean, it, I don't know. Like I said, it makes sense that he's in. It's one of the best-selling games of all time. It just feels weird. One thing I'm glad about, though, is that they kept the animation style from Minecraft. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it's yeah. all the like chunky animations from Minecraft. It's not, like, up- updated in any way. It's like uh, how Mr. Game & Watch is. It, is. It, yeah. Which I think is cool. I think it makes sense because you're representing Minecraft. You're not representing Smash Brothers skin exactly. of Minecraft Steve. I just wish they had somebody else to pull from the IP instead of the default character. Like, there's nobody else you can really use. Mm-hmm. But I don't I like that. I hate that character dream, design so bad. Dream skin. Dream? Oh, yeah. People are mad at Dream. Uh, the famous YouTuber who plays Minecraft. I feel like there's too many, like, big YouTubers for me to keep track of anymore. Yeah. Like, for every one I know, there's, like, 16 that are, like, oh, yeah, this guy has 10 million subscribers. You ever heard of him? Yeah, I've never heard of him. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I just commandeered the first, like, 20 minutes of this podcast. Do you want us maybe, do you have any ideas for a topic we could talk about? Like, I'm pretty sure 90% this, this of This has the, been mostly you, yeah. Yeah, um, I just kind of went off. And you just kind of were sitting there. I mansplained for I the last I left time. the room a couple times. Yeah, so... I'm going to try to take a back seat for a few minutes, and you can just go ahead. I'm not really sure what to talk about. I, I, you had a lot of topics, like, saved In up. my head, yeah. I have not. And I blew through them in the last 15 minutes. I have more. I'd like to mention... Okay, I guess I'll talk a little bit. I'd like to mention that I've been so busy for the last, like, 
three months. And lazy. And, yeah, partly lazy. That I have not played, uh, I have not finished The Last of Us. And I, w- I hope that I will, but <laughs> so far it's not looking too good. <laughs> For anyone who is like... Who, whoever was interested in like, the storyline of me finishing the I game. I wonder what Nicole's like, thoughts will be on on last of us too like what is she gonna think about that scene at the end like i have like a the quarter of of the game left so yeah i think that was about right so what was the last thing you did i don't remember uh spoiler alert if anybody cares cares uh the last scene was abby uh what the heck is that guy's name i don't know she killed a dude i forgot i forgot i forgot characters names because it's been, it's so, been long. so long you forgot character names yeah, the so dude she, that you liked the, yeah the guy i think his name was jesse that's probably right. Uh, yeah, so she killed him, and then she had, uh, Ellie at gunpoint. And then there was flashback, and you never and played And then there was that? flashback, and I was playing the Abby flashback, and I got stuck at one point, and I have not played since. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. It happens sometimes. See, but now, that's the thing, like, when you were first playing, I don't think you had that in mind of, like, oh, well, now I have to talk about it on the podcast. Where it kind of becomes, not so much a chore, but like, it's not there's really a, a reason to play it. There's versus a reason just to like, play it. Yeah, it's fun. but did that did that harm your no progress at all? Because I, I think it would have for me. I think it personally makes me want to play it more, but I just don't have the motivation for it. Because mm-hmm. there's always that like that worry where like, well, what if I don't have anything interesting to say? But for me, that is not for you. Obviously, you're like a normal adjusted human being. <laughs> you have normal brain. I also have not finished. I know it wasn't something that we were talking about, but I haven't finished Death Stranding, and I've been dying oh, to finish yeah. it. Oh, yeah. We talked about that for a little I've bit. I've played, like, half episode. the game, and I really want to finish it. I just... I've I've been like, oh, yeah. You I know what else we do... didn't finish? What? Uh, we didn't finish the Star Wars game. That with, is uh, true. The, what's the kid from Shameless? Uh, Cameron Monaghan. Yeah. Uh, what's... Uh, Cal? Cal? Yes. Yeah. He was the guy from the Star Wars game, and... Uh, that game was really fun. It's like Dark Souls, but Star Wars. And I really want to start playing it, it again. It was really but fun. We just haven't gotten around to it. Yeah, we, do, we tend to... Bro. Play games and not finish okay. them. Okay, think about... Do we have such a backlog right now? We have Death Stranding didn't finish. Last of Us 2, you didn't finish. That's just a, that's well, a solo project. Well, I was playing project. Death Stranding without you as well. So yeah. Uh, technically two Star Wars, projects. Luigi's Mansion 3, which we haven't played in about a year. Which... Because it came out in October. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't finish the Mario All-Stars. Which, I mean, we're still playing it, technically. That's something that came out, too. Let's talk about that for a second. Mario. <laughs> Mario Funny. Yeah. Uh, the anniversary edition of Mario Good Games came out. <laughs> Mario the Good Games edition. <laughs> I mean, edition. it's not like it's games that we haven't played before. So, it's like, yeah. it's not really a top priority. But it's still fun. Uh, mostly because Isabel hasn't played them. Yeah. Or that's Which, that, sister, okay, that way. was something that, because I bought it uh, for, for our little sister for her birthday. And... I was astonished at the fact that she didn't know, like, the layouts of some of these levels. Like, the first level, bob Battlefield of Mario 64. I figured she'd probably watch some YouTuber play it. Markiplier. Or she at least, like, had heard of the game before, but she was, like, so new to it that she was reading the tutorial stuff. And I was like, I didn't stop her. I was just watching. I tried to be as quiet as possible so she wouldn't feel weird about playing or, like, feel like I'm trying to backseat game or something, which I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure she was cool. And just played it and it was enjoying it. But, like, watching somebody play Mario 64 for the first time was such an interesting experience. Yeah. So, like, I don't think... I wasn't a part of that. I don't think could have happened in the last, like, 20 years. Like, I think I... The last person who... In our family who could have done that was me. Yeah. Because when, when you were young enough to play it for the first time, I was also young enough to have played it for the first time. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like, we, we both had our first experiences at young enough ages that neither of us would have cared about the other one. Yeah. But, like, I, I don't know if that's, like, a thing that happens because I'm older now, or it's, like, this is my one of my childhood experiences that someone else is experiencing. But I guess that's another thing. I grew up in a post-Mario 64 world. So, really, it was my dad who, uh, who got that luxury of growing up with Mario, really. <laughs> Why does this feel like the most rambling episode? It does a little bit, huh? But, uh, I mean, who cares? It's scary time. You know, we gotta let the insanity roll through. Yeah. Yeah, so Funny Mario came out. We've been, I've been playing it a little bit. I have you, not, not as much. I not have much. You've been I've, waiting I've for been us to finish... I've been a lot busier than you have. 
Somehow. And yet, I haven't finished any of our projects. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. I want to start posting uh, Twitter stuff. I don't know if enough of our followers like Care? read our Twitter. I don't think we have any followers that are on our Twitter. Well, we could start making some, you know. That's the thing I think we need to start Please doing. Please follow us on Twitter. We are desperate. Well, not desperate. I would say, like, more, like, sad. We're depressed. <laughs> no. I currently, while we're recording this, I'm uh, drawing a new logo. Oh, yeah. We're we're, uh, we're going to be doing... This is something that I was wanting to do last year, but I think we were a little too green around the edges because, you know, we're so much more advanced now. Uh-huh. Uh, we're just going to... We're going to try to have seasonal logos. Try. I'm... I think it'll be uh, not too hard to do. I think, you know, if we're posting, if we're... I'm going to try to make this animated. If we're cool enough to be posting during the holiday season, we should have logos for Mm -hmm. each holiday season. And I think people will appreciate the effort. I hope anyway. I mean... I hope as well. If not, not, at least we'll think it's cool. So, this might be done before the episode is uploaded. So, if you see that, that... Uh, then you'll get to, like, there's a sneak preview of, like, what you're doing. a sneak preview of what I'm doing. You can, if you what lo- you're looking at, it's a sneak preview of what you're looking at. If you listen real, real close, you can hear her pen on the iPad. That is true. Click clack and away. Yeah, that's why I'm not talking very much, because I'm a little bit focused. You're trying to draw as you talk. Yeah. So, th- I guess I can, I guess I'll steer the ship a little bit more. Um, You know what I played recently? That, I guess mostly because it was Halloween time was I played Left 4 Dead recently for the first time in a long time. Oh, that's fun. You played without me? Yeah, I played with some friends and it, I remembered that I was really burnt out. Like, that's it. That, that, when that game came out, we played it so much Yeah. that my brain is fried now. Anytime I play that game, I can't play a whole session. I have to like stop in the middle and take a breather because it's just like every level is ingrained in my memory to the right. point where... Not to the point where it's like, man, I remember... Like, where to go? Like, if you turn left here, you get a power-up. It's like, I've played this... You this, just know what... I've played this level so many times that I've died to a boomer or a tank so many times that I can't play it anymore. Like, I cry <laughs> every time. <laughs> so, that's the kind of, like, familiarity that you get with a uh, something, like a product or a game, where it's like, it makes you sad. Like, that happened to me with Fallout New Vegas, too, mm-hmm. where I played it so many times and I played through so many quest lines that I literally don't find any fun in playing it anymore that's really sad it makes me really sad because that was one of my favorite games and now all i have is memories oh <laughs> i think I, I if i really put my mind to it i could probably play it again and enjoy it but probably as it stands i usually have trouble getting started again and that happened to me with left for dead a little bit i played through like half a campaign and then you know like when you're playing with friends and no, then it i can't relate it like kind of devolves like I guess with any multiplayer game like you guys are trying to be serious and then it devolves a little bit like you start team killing and like messing around for a little too yeah. long and I was just like yeah you know maybe not maybe it's not for me mm-hmm. tonight so that happened but I think I still think of the game fondly I think it was a well made game uh, and it reminds me of you know growing childhood. up childhood slaying zombies in my my pajamas oh you know how it goes. Mm-hmm. What is it like? When you think of childhood, like what game comes to mind first? Halo. Halo. And I was Gears thinking. Of War. I was thinking that Gears of War for me not so much. I feel like I like Gears of War, but it's not like if I had to think of a childhood game, it wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be that. I feel like no, it's more that's of an not the first thing that comes to mind, but it is one of them. Which is such a weird bunching of games where it's like, what do you think of uh, killing shooters? <laughs> like, <laughs> and uh, what's that? Army of Two. Army of Two, dude. And Splinter Cell. That was like a us game. You know what I'm saying? Like Army of Two. Yeah. Because it was literally a co-op game. And I think I only ever played it with you. I don't remember if I played it with anybody else. We, I mean, maybe. But like, that was like the, the, we played so many, we did so many playthroughs of that game. Yeah, we really did. It was nuts. That game, for those who don't know, Army of Two is like, <clears throat> Army of Two is like God's gift to man. <laughs> We tried playing it recently, but... And it just didn't work. It didn't work because it's such an old game. Because it's an artifact, you know what I'm saying? Like, Indiana Jones went to Microsoft and said, like, this needs to be in a museum, and, like, stole every copy of the game. Yeah. That happened. I was the copy. Damn. So you're talking to us from the archives? Yes, I am. That's why it looks like... That's why it's taking you so long to focus, because you're, like, you're listening in for what I'm saying. 
Yeah, it's taking a second to like register. Yeah, you're. I'm talking to a force ghost right now. Yeah. Um, I'm just listening. I'm just watching you draw for a second. <laughs> We're both getting lost in. <laughs> you know what? Um, speaking of your drawing. Yeah. Uh, we watched Goosebumps recently, like the old show, not the movie. Mm-hmm. And man, it's good. It is good. It's it's good in that way that's like. Camp- I like how I said mm-hmm as if I wasn't involved in that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you kind of gave it that inflection of, like, oh, yeah? Like, oh, how were? did that go? How did that go? <laughs> yeah. Even though you and I me also... were, like, one of the two people watching. Yeah. So, but, no, yeah, it was it was fun to watch that. And, uh, how do I put it? That's, like, makes sense. Like, you could tell it's old, if that makes sense. Like, it's very dated. Like, the way yeah. that it's, the way that it tries to be scary mm-hmm. is, like, man, if I was a kid in... When did that show come out? The 90s? Or like late 80s? If I was a kid in this era, I would be scared. But I was a baby child. I wasn't even like, I couldn't even talk yet. So I had no sense of humanity yet. But like, like the acting's just okay enough that it's, it passes. uh, You know what I'm saying? Like it's not campy. Well, it is campy. I can't lie. But it doesn't, it doesn't delve into that like, like Sharknado tier. Yeah. Like it's just above that where it's like, this is acceptable partly because they're children like child actors are never going to be as good as like people who've been doing it for a long time with some I exceptions mean, that, i guess yeah that depends on the person really so there I are mean, some really great child actors such as um every name in my head just went blank um <laughs> insert stranger things kid name here <laughs> yeah stra- the entirety of the stranger things cast i mean there's, there's probably a couple stinkers in that um, lineup. I'm thinking, I'm trying to, uh, the It cast, the slightly different kids, but there are some. There's probably a couple stinkers. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of other kids in my head, but I cannot think of their names. It happens sometimes. What are you going to do? I'm trying not to talk about this drawing as if people aren't going to see it. Well, yeah. But. But yeah, that's why I talked about Goosebumps, because the slimy... It's a slimy, it's a slimy drawing. It's a, it's a slimer, you know? Yeah. A little bit of a, a Ghostbusters, you know, Goosebumps vibe going on. I'm just, I'm trying to not make it too slimy. But at the same time, you kind of want to embrace that slime. You kind of do, but it's like, how much slime is too much? Are you going to make it, uh, like, glow-in-the-dark colors? Oh, I wasn't planning on it. I was going to outline it in black. I was thinking of doing a neon... I think that would be cool. Maybe I will make it, like, shiny, glistening. Like, it's, like, radioactive slime. Maybe I'll do that. Thank you for that input. Something I did watch solo that I didn't... Like, we were talking about Goosebumps, and then I was thinking, like... I also watched Twilight Zone recently. Not oh, a I lot I thought you were going to say Twilight, and I was like, oh, good for you. <laughs> no, well, Twilight Zone is a little scarier than Twilight, let's be honest here. Or could it be the other way around? I mean, I those, those actors. I mean, are, it depends. Well, a couple of thinkers, you know. So. <laughs> it depends on your opinion. It depends on definition. What ver- what, what exactly is scary about it, you know? The the in-universe or the out-of-universe? That's what you gotta decide. But yeah, I think... I feel like Twilight Zone doesn't hold up super well. But, like, it depends on the episode. There's a couple of them that, like, they were written very, very well. Mm-hmm. So it's like, they're gonna stand the test of time. But then there's other ones where it's like, oh, this episode was about... He smokes too much, so his family dies. Like, <laughs> what? I don't understand. Like, why is this a Twilight Zone? What? Where? Which zone is this? Where, where? How many people have entered that zone? But yeah, so, like, stuff like that where it's, like, uh, I noticed that I feel like we don't have... Well, I guess we have Black Mirror. I was going to say we don't have, like, a... Like, this era doesn't have a anthology series... I where would, it's like just scary shows um, so for no reason but then i realized there's like 14 of them yeah there's uh black mirror there's that other one that was on netflix what was it called it was something like uh goosebumps let me look it up uh it was a brit it was a uh, was it uk a uk show of some kind and it was like uh remember like they were on the beach and she watched that puppet show on the beach and she was like, I wish my parents were gone. And then her oh, parents turned into yeah. puppets or it was something. like a modern... And then to get her family back, she had to be the puppet master. Yeah, it was like a modern uh, Goosebumps. Yeah, it was called like Scary Time or something <laughs> stupid like that. It, 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 it was fine. It was serviceable. It was about as good as Goosebumps if it was made back then, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, they took the, mo- they took the series... 
And they made it, but they made it like now. Yes. But they didn't improve the writing at all. I can't find it, but just pretend it's a show on Netflix. It's it. You look up scary or funny. It'll come up. Or comedy. Uh, dramedy. What's your least favorite genre? Amy Schumer. Dra- I like uh, drama the most. Uh, okay. <laughs> I just, I don't uh, know what that... That's a little that... weird. <laughs> just completely... And that's a diss opposite. anybody that likes drama. <laughs> I said it was weird. I, don't, I didn't mean that. I don't know. I think dramas are a, a strange... Because there's two types of dramas. There's ones where it's like, oh, this is genuinely interesting. Like, what could what could the end result be? And then there's other ones where it's like, okay, I know where this movie's going. This is the most... They just made this movie... But those movie. aren't necessarily bad. They aren't bad, but like... They're a little different. Let's get a little originality in here. How about we have a film where uh, the main character is actually uh, an alligator? He, he He's in an experiment. He thinks he's a human. That would be pretty dramatic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was something I wanted to say about the new Spider-Man movie coming out. Which one? The, Spider-Man Tom, 3? Tom Holland's Spider-Man 3. Is it confirmed? It is, in fact, confirmed. I saw this TikTok that was talking about... Basically, this woman is, like, a craft lady. She... Arts and crafts? She's, like, an embroider person. Okay. She makes embroidery. And she made one of Peter Parker. And a management team contacted her saying that they wanted to use it for a movie. And the movie was called something specific, but it didn't... Like, not... Spider-Man wasn't the title. It was something else. And... Then the woman looked it up and she's like, it's actually the title for the Spider-Man movie. Oh my god. I don't remember what the title was though. So oh, this well. is kind of pointless news. Man, remember when that was a big deal? Like, Spider-Man was gonna go out of the MCU? Yeah. I don't think that was ever gonna actually happen. No, I, think I think there was too publicity. much push from, like, fans. But then again, like, you never know what companies. They could have just, like, oh, well, free publicity. Now they'll have to come see the Sony version if they want Spider-Man. And even if it gets bad reviews, it's still reviews. It's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which I think is something that happens a lot, where it's like, good pub- any publicity is good publicity. You know what I'm saying? Where a lot of a lot of companies cases, will just true. let that ride, and like, yeah, it doesn't matter that it sucked. We just wanted the money. I think the higher ups think that way. Yeah. But I don't think the people who are actually creating the film in the moment feel that way at all. I don't I feel think like regular like, people think that way. No, I don't think anyone with like a net worth of below a um, billion think that way. Yeah. Like the higher, the more money you get, the less you care about the product. I feel Which like is very well, it sad, depends on the person, I guess. We're talking in very broad terms here. Yeah. Uh, so if you if you uh, if you are, happen to have a billion dollars, <laughs> if you have a billion dollars net worth, uh, please don't cry at us. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. The thing that's another thing that was I always thought was weird. Like net worth doesn't mean like this is how much this oh, guy this has, has in his bank account right no, now. It's, like, it's this is how much this guy would be worth. Probably if he sold everything he owned. A little bit. So weird. it's a little different than the exact numbers, but to quantify that is so strange. It is. And people like people who care about that kind of thing is so also so strange. Like that's um, the thing to that go matters. Off topic a little bit. This tea, slimy tea is very hard to Draw. slimify. Yeah. And I'm just not really sure what to how to slime it. You'll figure <laughs> it out. I was thinking maybe you do like one big droop. Where? From the, from the one of the edges, like one of the T's. Yeah, okay. like a big, like a big, big droop. droop. Okay. Like halfway down the T. Okay, perfect. On either Great side. Idea. Oh, I was gonna do it on one side. I feel like both sides is a little overdone. Yeah, I said on either side, like either one or the oh, other. Oh, I thought you meant on, on both sides, like. You could even have it be like hanging off the edge, of oh. like the the middle piece. Like that. Or like have it like, and instead of a full teardrop, it's like. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like halfway so down like, the T. Like that. Yeah, kind of. That like, kind of erases the T shape. Yeah, like itself. don't lose too much of the T shape though, because you don't want to. Really? You don't want to make it hard to be really? legible. What were we talking about? I don't know. That was a stupid topic. I think you were talking about uh, net worth. I was talking about net worth on a uh, podcast that normally talks about like My Chemical Romance and <laughs> Mario. <Ray. laughs> what if we actually talked about My Chemical Romance? I don't know. I feel like you. You've wanted to bring it up before. Probably. But we just never get around to it. That's probably a fact. It's probably true. Do you think Jeff Bezos ever gets starstruck? Like, he goes to, like, a Starbucks or something. He's like, oh, my God. Is that Jack Black? 
Working as a barista? No, like, Jack Black is also <laughs> just there. What if you go into Starbucks, right? And Jack Black is just there? He's the barista. He's the barista. What does and he do? And you have to, like, let's say you have to order, like, a complicated drink, like... Mm-hmm. And he's, like, he's writing it down, like, he... At first, he's like, all right, like, we got, like, a, a hot latte. Like, he's writing it down, like, he's excited <laughs> at first. And then you get to the third drink, and he's like, okay, like... We got the mocha frappuccino with three pumps of hazelnut. And he's like, you know, like losing the steam a little bit. Then he's like, get to the seventh drink. He's like, <laughs> all right. So that's, what uh, did you say? You let me, uh, you want to, you want whipped cream on that too? Okay. Uh, all right. Like he's like, <laughs> then you get to the 10th drink, he'll say anything. And he just says like, will that be all? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Is that your order? And then you have to, you, there's a decision there you have to make. Is that, is that, is that, is that, that your order? Because you have six drinks more to go. You have 16 drinks to order. Oh. But you could tell if it's you order, you don't want to bother if you too order much. two more drinks, there will be a murder tonight at Starbucks. <laughs> so the question is. <laughs> but is it going to be Jack Black doing the murder? Absolutely. He will be doing it. Whether or not you die. It's up to your own, like, self-will. If you, whether or not you are the, <laughs> Yeah, the whether or not you, your self-durability will, like, wh- like stand the test of his blade. <laughs> That's entirely separate. <laughs> the question is, do you want to test him? Because you could always say, like, oh, guys, I forgot the other six drinks. <laughs> and come back, like, three hours later when his shift is over. Or you could really test him, flip that coin, and see what happens. Yeah. You could come back with no drinks and a bloody nose. With and also like one of his fingers like severed while, and he ran away. <laughs> There's always that option. I feel like Jack Black is a very feral fighter. He's a very vicious va- brawler. I mean, Kung Fu Panda. Have you seen it? L- Nacho Libre. Have you seen it? <laughs> exactly. He's, he's in a, a lot of fighting movies, and I think it's, it's you know it's, he always he always spins it in a comical way. He does way. not have a stunt double. He really just knows all those moves. Yeah, like he didn't. He did that. He didn't need a stunt double for that. No. Not at all. You think the guy who animated him had a reference from like a kung fu movie? Do you think that was animation? It was him in a panda costume. They had to call it CGI to. (laughs) (laughs) You knew where I was going with it before I even said it. violent to be real they had to pretend like the CIA said if you don't cover this up there will be consequences so they did their best they scrambled green screen effects everywhere the 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 mongoose dad that was a real guy he was irradiated from being too close to Jack Black his skin morphed his body transfigured I'm crying so that's what I'm trying to say like I think Jack Black could definitely kill me. Yeah. If he, okay, I wouldn't look, be mad about it either. I would be disappointed, I think. Uh, to be killed by Jack Black? Yeah, if only because I think I would want to be the one to take him down. <laughs> like, you know, like... Like, I'd be like, oh, dude. That's the guy who took down Jack Black. Like, you know, you get recognized at parties and stuff. Like, like no way. Is that him? Like, guys, 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 get a picture. Like, they, they pull up Wikipedia. It's they, they, like the article of the crime scene. Where Jack Black was defeated, like his only thing that remained was his like bones. <laughs> and they're like, you know, they read the article and then there's a picture of me incarcerated. Do you think if Jack Black saw this um, clip, he would be? I think he would, ready to fight, or would he just think it was? I cool? think he would laugh and he'd be like, "Yeah." These people don't know what they're talking. They don't about. know what they're up against. Yeah, that's what, they, that's what he would be thinking. They don't know who the, I am. They don't know who I really they only, am. They don't even know the half of it. Yeah, because he's probably killed. I wouldn't doubt it. The, I mean, the final. The thing is, here's the question. Radiates, like. Here's the real question, right? Like, like. We know he's killed. Strong energy. We know he's killed. We we know he'll kill again. How many has he killed? Thousands. Millions. There's no end in sight. The only question is, what satiates him? What 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 part of the bloodlust goes away? Is it is it just being in movies? Is it, is it being it, in yeah. film? Does being I mean, he has a family. I feel like he, if he's like... Is he teaching them his ways? Are they okay with it or are they resisting? Is he using <laughs> torture methods to make his children stronger? Is that what the TikTok was? How many children does he have? Four. That, no hesitation. <laughs> no, it's, I think it's two. 
I was double. I doubled it. One. There's two more. The they're shadow secret clones. Children. The shadow clones. Yeah. They learned how to clone themselves. Jack Black is not the only one. There's also Jack White, Jack Blue, Jack Red. Yeah. Um. Jack White is a real person. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Jack White. Who do you think could beat Jack Black in a fight? What if Jack White was like Jack Black's brother? What if Jack White is his equal? Like you know how like Yin and Yang. Yes, he's like the strong. He's an offensive fighter, right? But Jack White is like a defensive god. Like you can't damage him, even if you wanted to. Like if you dropped a nuke on his house, he would probably like wipe off the dust. Like he wouldn't even care. He wouldn't feel it. He wouldn't. Not only would he not feel it, he wouldn't even know it at first. He'd be like, wait a like, second. He'd like, like, he'd be like asleep on the couch, probably. I don't know why the couch, but like, he, he yeah, because he, he just he was, he was watching, watching one of his own movies. He was watching one of Jack Black's films, learning how he fights the, for their eventual duel. Wait, you're talking about Jack White or Jack Black? Jack White. Oh, I Jack think... Black. No, no, Jack Black can be beaten. He's an offensive. <laughs> oh, he's an offensive I like, combatant. I feel like Jack White is like an all-powerful god. Like, no, 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 no. I was saying, here's the thing: Yin and Yang, right? So if Jack Black is the fire. That means that Jack White is the water. He yeah. is unbeatable. He's undefeatable, but he doesn't have that water much punching evaporates. power. Yeah, but yeah, you know how much power you have to have behind your fire to evaporate water? Jack a lot. Black is pretty powerful. So, I don't know. You're you know, underestimating him. Just because Why fire not? is hot does not mean that there is enough of it. Jack White is a tsunami of water. He is undefeatable. His defense levels are so high. He could like contract covid and it would die covid would die from entering his body that's how powerful he is i would like to see that you think jack white is gonna hear this no and be like confused is what we're talking about i think he would um he would know exactly what we're talking about because you think he would like write about us in his next song i hope so I just Googled the fact that he's a singer-songwriter. I did not know who he was five minutes well, ago. You literally Googled it? Yeah, I, I didn't, didn't even see you Googling it. So I have no clue. I apologize, Jack I was, White. I, I didn't know you were I was actually surprised person. that you knew who he was. I could have lied. I'm like, oh. I could have lied and just pretended that I knew. I didn't. I, I, I wanted to be honest with you. What other celebrities are in that echelon? What, like... Cause I, I think, like, like, for instance, right... Mark Wahlberg. Oh, I was going to say exact opposite. I was going to say Mark Wahlberg is like a pretty low tier fighter. But he's built different. Yeah, that's exactly the problem. He's built wrong. Oh. They, like, like he's, like, you know, like, in, in fighting games where, like, there's always that one guy who's, like, the average character, like, Ryu from Street Fighter. Yeah. He's, like, the basic character. He has a Hadouken, sure. He can kick and fly, jump, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But he's not special. He's not Akuma. He's not, like... M. Bison. He doesn't have any special gimmicks. He just shoots the bullet and he punches. That's it. That is Mark Wahlberg. Oh, I can Mark see that. Wahlberg is the Ryu of Hollywood. Do you think he would see that and get offended? I feel like he would see that and be like, eh, I'll take it. Maybe. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. That's what <laughs> wow. He... Sorry, Mark. Marky Mark, dude. That's true. He is Marky he Mark. He has a lot of power behind that. Well, he used to have a lot of power. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's, it for... he traded it for a normal life. As normal as a Hollywood person can be, anyway. You Maybe know? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise? See, now, I'm thinking Tom Cruise is an immortal being. For sure. I feel like Tom Cruise is a tier Okay, speaking of immortal beating, beatings. Immortal beatings. That's what <laughs> Jack Black is about to receive if he tries to fight Tom Cruise. But go ahead. Immortal beings. I feel like uh, Nicolas Cage is very immortal. I think... Nicolas Cage is a wizard of some kind. He has some kind of... He does some dark dealings, but not in a way that's, like, only to cancel him because he, like, kills children. But, like, dark dealings in the way of, like, he finds demons and then exercises them and steals their power. For sure. For sure. Like, he definitely has saved Earth a couple times. I do not doubt that. Whether or not it's for a noble cause is yet to be seen. We don't know enough about his backstory uh, this early into the season to know if he's good or bad, but I think off the top of my head, you know, I think, I think there's some good in him. Yeah. Uh, whether or not it'll come out, you know, like, like it took a Vegeta, for instance, a very long time to become good. I think Nicolas Cage is on that road to becoming good. Sure. If that makes sense. Yeah. 
What about... I'm going to throw a curveball at you. Go for it. What about Avril Lavigne? Uh, she does not exist. That's true. She was too powerful. They had to write her out. <laughs> I think with her, she... Hershey? Hershey. She used to be so powerful that they literally just... They nerfed her? Yeah. So whatever was stronger than her captured her? Yeah. Jack Black. You think Jack Black is stronger than Avril Lavigne? For sure. You think so? Yeah. See, See, I thought they were on similar tiers, but you think you could beat her and then replace her with a clone? Yes. You know how people say that Avril Lavigne was replaced years ago? Sure. That's a thing. It's like some kind of theory. A game, I think, <laughs> a game theory? Yeah. A real life theory. Uh, I think Jack Black is the replacer. Like, he replaced her. He is Avril Lavigne. He so, just wears a costume. Here's like, a question, like right? the panda costume. He here's wears a question, an Avril Lavigne costume. Here's a here's a question. I have I have two now that you finish what you're saying. Uh huh. One, does Jack Black work for somebody? Is he replacing people on a no, payroll? No, he works on his own, man. He works alone. He just he, whatever he, he deems right or wrong. Yeah, he is, he is the judger of all. He is like Judge Dredd. Yes. Like he doesn't have any moral compass that like the government gave him. He just no, works he, on his own. He works on his own. The government has tried to hire him multiple times. You know they're a little bit scared of him. But he, that's, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's a little sense. bit outside of his moral compass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that he makes doesn't sense. really like. The Second girl. of all, when he wears the panda costume, does it look like a three D character walking around in real yes. life? Yes, it looks like a CGI model in real life. Because that's something that I was really excited about when I first heard you talking, and I want to know if I can also be a three D model. No, in real it's life. only Jack Black. Is it possible to learn his power? I mean, you have to talk to him, honestly. I think that would be pretty fun. But like, as you know, far as I know, Jack Black is the only human see now, alive. The con- Quotation human. <laughs> the continuity now of our time of our podcast now implies also that Mario looks like Mario sixty four Mario without makeup on. So that means that does that mean that there is makeup available that allows Jack Black to look like a three D CGI character? Or is it just a, like a very good It's just a costume. Very good synthetic fibers. Yeah. Who made that suit for him, though? That's the lore we need you to discover. You think that Jack Black is not an amazing, like, seamstress? seamstress? Like, well, like okay, blacksmith? Wh- what Where material? do you think the name Black comes from? The Black... Yeah, he was the first one. He forged the first piece of armor. It was it was That's Poe. what I'm saying, man. The Poe costume was the first piece of armor ever invented. <laughs> exactly. So, let's... Let's let's really just think about this for a second. The implication... Should we move on? Yes. <laughs> How long was that? Like that was, 20 minutes? Like a, that was the whole podcast, man. All right, I got one more question. This, this Before we move on to whatever <laughs> could possibly top that, do you think... I don't even have to ask you this question because I know you'll agree with me, but I'll say it anyway for the viewers. Is Willem Dafoe stronger than Jack Black? That's a question. I do not have an you answer. You don't already have an I answer? I don't know. I was going to say yeah, yes off the bat. I feel like, you know, he has more intimidation powers, but I'm not sure if he is stronger. Well, he could rule this world, Spider-Man. <laughs> he could rule this world. He can't. Maybe? You can't just say that kind of thing as an empty threat. That's what he meant it. He knew. He knew he could rule the world with Spider-Man. I think maybe he's underrated. Like, not, like, under... Underestimated? Yeah, underestimated. So he underestimates himself or others underestimate him? Others underestimate him. As t- intimidating as he is, he it's like... So people think he's all bark, no bite. Yeah, but, but that he's... Ch- those chompers are sharp. Sharp. He knows what's up. When he needs to kill, he can do it. Yeah. So... Willem Dafoe... But here's the question, though. Is Willem Dafoe... Willem Dafoe is Jack Black's creator. He's the master that of all. Make, that's why they haven't come to blows. Have Jack you ever Black seen them in knows, the same room? No. Jack Black knows he can't defeat Willem Dafoe yet. That's why they haven't That's fought. why they have not been in a movie together. How do you know they haven't been in a movie together? Did they, you check their IMDb? They have, have not. I'm looking it up right now. If they have ever been in a movie together, your theory has crumbled to pieces. Well, maybe... Have Willem Dafoe and Jack Black... I put Jack back. Jack Black. <laughs> I can't put Black. Okay, Jack Black ever been... Watch how it's literally... Like five movies. No, doesn't seem like. I it. told you. This makes me deeply sad. That should make you deeply happy, to know that I was right. I mean, in a way, 
it it's fine but in another way it's deeply disheartening because that means that it'll be a long time before we see them come to blows uh like the shock waves will crush the earth so we won't get to see it ourselves but you know like it'll be a while before that happens and it'll be kind of sad that like i'll probably be like with my kid one day mm-hmm. teaching him how to ride a bike or her and then the world will start crumbling under the pressure of their first punch. And I'll be like, man, I missed it. To be but, with this stupid kid and if, then I die. If you weren't with your child teaching them how to ride a bike, mm-hmm. where would you be to watch that fight? On the mountaintop with them. But I would have trekked up there. If I had not, heard the how, omens, the prophecy being foretold, I would have started... Who's telling the prophecy? Tom Holland. Because he's the new Spider-Man. He would be the only one who knows. Okay. You think Tobey Maguire knows? He's been out of the loop for years. He might know. He, he Even knows. if he... You think he would tell me? No. An no. outsider? Tom Holland is way, way more accepting of outsiders. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this anymore? We're supposed to move on. Is there even anything to move on to? What do you say after that? Good night, everybody. I think that it is like that's that's a podcast topper right there. What did we talk about? I feel like we talked about nothing. When did we ever talk about something? Have we ever talked about something before? We, it's just drivel. I guess. And that's what, what that's what our viewers come for, though. I think that's okay. To, in my mind, I think it's fine. Um. Honestly, I think we've given our viewers a lot to think about until four months from now when we post. Please leave one. your comments and theories. About I would this. yes. This is a very important topic. Uh, please leave your comments about the tier list of celebrities. Uh, who could kill who? Uh, and who has who more? Who is the most powerful? Who's a planet buster tier? Who's like multiverse level? Uh, can they move at speed of light? Do they have super saiyan level? What about Mark Ruffalo? What? Mark I feel Ruffalo like he radiates very strong energy. Mark Ruffalo is a healer. Yeah. He doesn't sure. have any punching power. He can heal though. I feel that. Uh so yeah, let's just let's roll into the end. Okay. So yeah, just like usual guys, you know, uh we've got all of our social medias. We got Twitter uh, at this is the real TC. If you want to at us or DM us, we're going to try posting more often over there. I think we're going to try to post like little short more shorter videos. Just like something to keep you guys sated while I work on more content. Uh, cause I think, I think in the next week or so I'll have a little more free time. Hopefully. Hopefully. But if not though, I mean, what's going to happen? Uh, I'll have to work on them later, I guess, instead. Um, if you want to leave us a business email, we have, uh, our official email is O-F-F-C-I-A-L-T-C at yahoo.com. Official was taken. We did our best. Uh, we could have went to a different website, you know, Gmail, AOL. We just said, no, we like Yahoo too much. <laughs> uh, if you, <laughs> I haven't talked at all. I feel like during this episode. No, you put some effort in, or you didn't. I don't know. However you feel. Uh, if you'd like to leave a comment on our YouTube channel, we always check the comments. We try to respond to as many as we can. There's so many, hard to keep up with. There's a few. We get some repeat customers. Customers? What about friends, man? They're friends. I don't mind that either. Uh, if you want to be our, caring, you wanna be our friends, beautiful friends, please be our friend. You think we should set up a Discord at some point? Yes. Like if we get like we a couple more subscribers, maybe we'll set up a Discord. That'd be fun. We'd love to hang out. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh that's kind of it. A very weird episode. Very strange. I mean, it's been a while. It's what a chaotic episode. Uh, it's very vicious. Episode. I feel like it, it definitely goes with the Halloween theme. It's yeah, the the terrifying scary. Uh, idea of being mauled to death by, <laughs> by Jack, Jack Black. Black. <laughs> it definitely gives you something to think about it. And night, so if you happen to know Jack Black personally, let him know. Contact we, him. Let him know we want to talk to him. We want to throw down. We the don't gauntlet want to th- has no, 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 been no, no, tossed. No, no, no. The 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 table no. has been shattered. No. He needs to know my fifteenth drink order is his blood in a cup. <laughs> no, that's not true. I'm we lying, Jack obviously. Black. Jack, if you're listening, you're we not listening. We would love to um, hear from you. <laughs> we would love to hear. What is he going to say to us? <laughs> don't... don't talk about me anymore, children. <laughs> and he hangs up. I like um, the implication that he called. Yeah. Least. That's nice. <laughs>
Um, that's all. I don't know. <laughs> uh, did we did we miss anything? We talked about Twitter. Well, we talked about YouTube. We talked about. Well, we are missing the most important thing. Markiplier, of course. He's not involved in this episode, man. What? Jack Black has absorbed all of the energy. Markiplier, we're sorry. We're not legally allowed to talk about you tonight because Jack Black will murder us. I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to bet my life on the fact that I can talk to you or not through the internet. So next week or next month, whenever we post, I think we'll be able to post another one before October ends. I hope so. Um, if not, we'll post a different video this this month. I want to get some kind of fun little like Halloween themed something out there because I think people will enjoy uh, whatever it is, we hope to see you there. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. This was Red for Topic Change. This was also Nicole for Topic Change. Uh, signing off. See ya. Bye.